Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, it was kind of hard to film because it's like a lot of people. I was about to go in the backyard, but there's, you know, my nephew niece back there. I couldn't do any here. My brother wasn't here. And they're everywhere, okay? There are a lot of people here. Um, so hopefully I can. F I'm not going to try to rush it. I'm just going to. But if you see, if you see it like me, like if you see me like be right here and then right here, like I click, I, I stopped it, the video and doing something. Like I'm somebody walked in or something. Um, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you would like to do. Whatever you don't have to do anything. Just watch. It don't matter. Um, gosh, that scared me. But um, yeah. So this takes place when I was seven years old. Um, it was dark. Um, I wasn't. I was in the living room by myself. Um, no cover over me. Just laying on the floor. And it was pitch black. Um, yeah, but before I went to sleep, um, I woke like I went to sleep. I woke up, and I don't know. I don't know if this is important or not, but I I, I don't know why. But the first thing I do when I wake up is I pick a sunflower seed off the floor and put it in my mouth. But at the end, it wasn't a sunflower seed. It was a roach. <laughs> yeah, it was a roach in my mouth, and I spit it out. Went into the kitchen, washed my mouth out. And then, um, yeah, I went back to sleep. This time, I went to sleep, and I dreamt about, um, I remember. I dreamt about, um, like, I'm J I was Jason. And I was, like, in the car, and I couldn't breathe. I know it was a movie. It was, like, based off the movie. It was, like, in the movie. It was, like, in a movie scene. Like, you know, my dream. And I, couldn't, I was suffocating. I couldn't breathe. There was water coming out my mouth. And when I woke up. Water was just shooting out of my mouth. I got like, I, I will look out my mouth. My whole, just, water is shooting out of my mouth. And I'm just over here drowning. And my whole face is wet. I don't know how water came out of my mouth. Because I do not remember drinking water that day. Only just eating food and drinking soda or whatever. But yeah, it was shooting out of my mouth. My whole face was covered. My clothes was wet. And I was like, what the freak? Every time I, and every time I tell somebody this story. Oh, this might be a short story, by the way. But... Every time somebody, every time I tell somebody the story, they don't believe me or they just wipe it off, you know. But it actually happened. If you don't believe me, well, oh well, it is what it is. Um, I had many dreams. That one and one where I was at my cousin house. Um, my older cousin. He's like a year. He's young, older, than, older than me. Um, and. It was pitch black in his room. Everybody was asleep. Like, there was a lot of people in there. And I, felt, I did a mistake, the biggest mistake of falling asleep on my back. I never, like, I, I haven't slept on my back for years. Because every time I dream, every time I lay on my back, I always, like, something always end up tickling me. Or I, I'll see somebody's face. Or I'm not, no. So I sleep on my side. I don't sleep on my stomach either. Demons, whatever. Spirits. I don't do that. So I lay on my side. And I've been doing it for years and years and years and, and forever. Um, but yeah, I did a mistake. I sleep on my back in pitch blackness and then on the bed. And when I I was when I woke up, everybody was asleep, right? So when I woke up, I see a face like it's a blurry face, and then it's like as it's focusing like a camera, it's like focusing. And this is this is girl. She got like this. She got like it's all black hair and it looks kind of wet. You know, it's like, like she's like it's like she she was a white girl or something. And she had a green face and she had scars and stuff on her face. Scars everywhere. Teeth was all dirty. It was like the girl from um you know the girl that was changed to the band and scary movie. The one that was vomiting everywhere. I promise you that's what it looked like. And it wasn't no dream. This this is the crazy part. It was no dream. Cause when I woke up, I saw her face and. I was seeing her face like it was focusing and the focus out and it went away. And then I jumped up and like turned the light. I was like, what was that? So I woke up my cousin and said, you want to watch some TV? So we sat up for a little bit, watched some TV until I felt comfortable enough. And um, I fell asleep. Scared. Like, it, that's the th I wanted, like, can somebody please tell me what that was? Because I wasn't dreaming. I was up. It was just dark in the room and I saw a girl's face and then it went away. What was that? I don't understand. And another one is when um is when um I was sleeping with my mom. I was seven years old. Sorry if that noise if you heard it. 
I was seven years old, and um, I was laying on my back. The mistake again. Laying on my back, I was sleeping with my mom, and something, something was tickling me. I don't know. I couldn't see it, but I knew. I don't know why, but I knew the fingers were green. I'm not sure if it was dream or not. I mean, it most likely was a dream, but something was tickling my feet too, tickling my belly, and I had to hold my breath because, like, if I don't hold my breath, I'm gonna die. So I hold my breath as I'm getting tickled, and then it finally went away. Scares moment. So that's why that's why I keep my feet off the floor or hanging off, no matter if it's covered or not. I, I keep my feet on the bed with the cover over me, big blanket, because if you get the thin one, then it's easy to you know it's Philly. When you wear a big, when you, when you sleep with a big blanket, you feel safer, you know. You know what I'm talking about. One more. I'm going past this actually quick. Those are terrifying. These are the most terrifying ones. And um, this one is when I'm in my backyard. This was a dream, obviously. I went in my I went in my backyard. I was in my backyard, and I get knocked out by a cat. Then it, then I get knocked out. I fall on the ground, and everything's blurry, flashing. You know, darkness, and then I'll see it in darkness, and I see it. And as hold on. Yeah, sorry. You know, I had to stop it. My idiot brother just came in and flicked me off. It's fine. Um, yeah, I got knocked out by a cat, and I was getting dragged by the cat into the house. I don't know why the cat was standing. And then, worst part was, I, I think it's because it went into my dream. So, like, 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 like somebody was snoring, I guess, and it went into my dream. And when I woke up, I heard, I, like, when I woke up, I knew I was fully awake. I knew I, knew I was awake. So... All I hear was the cats, the, the, like that, like that purr noise. And I was like, it was like, so I guess that sounds so much like cat noise to the point where it made a, a cat in my dream knock me out and drag me away and wrap his arm around me while I was asleep. Yeah, it wrapped his arm around me before I woke up. Yes, it was weird. The weirdest dreams I had. It's not, this is, and this is. This is something I would, like. Um, this is, like the first time I did this. Usually, I tell like a straight line story to like you know like somebody getting hit by a car or something, you know, or like that was an example. I haven't did that, but like you know. this is like different topics, like different stories. like not the same topic, but like different stories and like you know I haven't did this before. You already know uh, the title might be the dreams I have or the dreams I had or dreams or something like that. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this these crazy story times. Um, yeah, I might not be doing a one like this at all. I might just do something totally different, like campfire stories. It's one of my violent stories or whatever, you know. Um, I mean, it always it's not gonna always be violent. It's gonna be you know embarrassment moments, funny moments, whatever. Um, I work my way up to reactions, but I don't think I'm gonna do that yet. You know, no. if he was getting better. No subscribers yet, but it's fine, you know. I'm just gotta keep working harder. Been doing this for a month now, you know. I'm proud of myself for that. Never did it before. Never let it. Like every time I do a YouTube channel, I always give up like a, like a couple days or a week later, you know. Um, yeah. Thank you all, and um, hopefully you enjoy it and see you tomorrow.